Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in my little blacksmith shop. My goal for today's episode is to get our adventurer friend right here kitted out and ready to go do some dungeon exploring. In order to do that, we need to make them a nice brand spanking new weapon that they can go slay some monsters with. They need a total quality of 40, and they start with 12. So we're going to make them a new sword to hack and slash their way through the dungeon. So in addition to making that sword, I also want to show you the woodworking bench. As you can see, we got some logs there. I threw a plank on the ground. I just want to show you what we can do with the woodworking bench. And then um, that will kind of be the episode. We're kind of running out of content, I should say, in this game. Uh, so I'm thinking the next episode will be the last episode. And we will go explore the town up on top of the hill. And that will kind of also be the review episode during uh, why we're exploring, kind of review the game. So let's go ahead and select the blade. And I'm thinking the regular uh, embossed blade. I like that. So let's go ahead and select that. And now let's go ahead and hammer away on the anvil here and make ourselves the uh, best blade that has ever been made in this game. And there we go. So let's go ahead and grab it. And we'll cool it off. And let's uh, let's go ahead and sharpen it. It's uh, we haven't played with the sharpener yet. It's kind of a mini game. It's interesting. It's fun. Let's go ahead and drop that blade there, and let's come around here and activate the sharpening stone. It's not letting me click on it for some reason. Do I have to click on it over here? Here we go. Um, all right. So on the left of the screen, you'll see we have to reach a quality of 100%. We do not want the needle to go into red, or we'll start to lose integrity. Um, and if we lose integrity, quality will no longer increase. So let's uh, take our blade here and we're going to put it on the grindstone. And you'll see the sparks start to fly and our, our quality is going up as well as that needle. And uh, I'm assuming that's like blade heat. So you, know, you take it off and it starts to cool down. And you see we gain 3.2 quality. So let's go ahead and put it back on the sharpening wheel. And that quality will continue to go up as we um, sharpen the blade. And there it goes into the yellow, and let's take it off again. And now we're at 6.4 out of 10 quality, so 64% out of 100. Uh, and let's sharpen it a little bit more. Uh, I think we might have to do it one more time. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it off again. And then we will let this drop down to zero and finish sharpening that bad boy. And there we go. That is at 10. So now we have, ooh, it's getting a little foggy out too. Now we have a nice sharpened blade. Uh, so let's bring this inside, and swing around that post there, bring this inside, and you can see I already assembled a hilt. Uh, I've got a guard and a grip, so let's go ahead and select that, and we will attach it to our blade here. And there we go, we have an epic copper one-handed sword with a quality of 31, and that should put us over 40. Uh, that would put us at, what, 43, I think? And we'll be able to send our adventurer off to do some exploring of the dungeons and hopefully get us some loot. So let's give them that sword. And they now have a quality of 43, fantastic. So let's click over here and we're gonna click on that for whatever reason that always seems to hit them. And we're gonna send them to dungeon level one and away they go. Goodbye friend, good luck. Bring us some fantastic loot back. I would really appreciate it. So. While he is doing that, let's head back into our little shop here and we will go play with the woodworking bench. Now the woodworking bench you can build quite uh, a few different things with. Uh, obviously they're wood based and there he goes. Bye friend, is he going to the portal? I think he's, he, no, he overshot the portal. Oh, there's that door back there that we saw when we, I think it was the first episode we explored the map. He's probably heading back to that dungeon door there and he'll go slay the beast and hopefully bring us back some fantastic loot. Anyways, uh, the woodworking bench. Uh, so we need lumber. So let's go over here and we'll grab ourselves a piece of lumber. Here we go. And common pine log and manhandle that up onto the table. And as you can see, you can make quite a few different things. There's a different styles of shields. We got heater shields. We've got a round shield. There's a tower shield. You can make crates. You can make job crates. You can make some shelving, uh, a weapons rack to store your weapons on, uh, different grips, and then some signs. There's a wall sign, floor sign, things like that, and a job board. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and craft some planks. And then we just, so there's the log, and we step on the wheel here like that. 
And now we've got planks. We've uh, one log turns into three planks, so that's nice. And just for funsies, let's go ahead and make uh, let's make the round shield. Yeah, yeah, we'll make the round shield. So I'll take two planks. And now we've got a nice start to a round shield, and it needs uh, several other items to finish it. And we we won't mess with that too much because that's you know just basic crafting. But we'll hang on to it in case we decide we want to use it later. So let's bring it into the shop, and we'll just tuck it down here on the bottom part of the table. Nope, we're gonna drop it on the ground. There we go, we'll tuck it right there in the bottom part of the table. Hey, don't forget to like the video if you've been enjoying the My Little Blacksmith Shot content I have been making. If you don't mind commenting, you know, show me your best sword you've made or your best weapon you've made. Leave a photo of it so we can all see it and its awesomeness. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Let's go out and see if our adventurer has returned with all that great loot. And I don't think they have. I think it takes a little bit of time, like two or three days for them to come back. So instead of making you guys watch me sleep and wake up and sleep and wake up, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to when they return. So I'll see you guys after the cut. All right, we are back and our adventurer is running down the road and they are carrying a massive box, hopefully full of fantastic loot for us to use in our little blacksmith shop. Go friend, go! Run, run, run! Ra, ra, ra! Thank you so much for doing all that for us there, adventurer. We do really appreciate it. And he's gonna face us. Ah, thank you for the gift. This is all I could find. Well, we do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and bring the box inside to our shop and then we'll open it up and see all the great stuff he brought us. So it's gonna oop, jump over the table there like that and let's drop that on the ground and hammer that open, and what do we get? We got a um, copper ingot, okay, we can use that. That saves us 10 copper, and let's just, yeah, we'll drop that in there, perfect. And then what else do you, it looks like a two-handed grip. Uh, a rare two-handed katana grip, ooh. Um, you guys wanna make a katana? Uh, yeah, let's make a katana, why not? We got the copper. Um, let's go ahead and throw, I don't know how many ingots we're going to need for a katana. Let's start with two. Um, yeah, we'll see what we need. There, come on there, ingot. There we go. Let's go ahead and get these guys heating up. And we'll go ahead and throw the third one on there as well, just in case we need it in a few minutes. Drop that guy on there. And let's heat those three up. I'm excited to make ourselves a katana. That's, that's really neat. Was it quality of 29? Oh, buddy, we might have to replace your sword and give you a katana here in a few minutes. Uh, what a windfall for us. All right, so these are all heated up. Let's go ahead and start with two on the anvil. So there's one, and here comes the second ingot, and we'll drop that guy there. And let's go here, and do we see any katana blades, regular uh, Scottish long blade, regular sharp blade, pointed blade, embossed, edged, thick... Uh, split. Let's just check miscellaneous. Um, metal plate. Ooh, I'm guessing that's how you make armor. Let's throw the third one on here just to be safe and see if this is how we access katana. Okay, snap onto place. Let's go Z. Um, let's see, large, heavy, and we'll check miscellaneous. Okay, so it's probably two, um, and I don't think there's like a specific katana blade based off that. So let's go ahead and start heating these back up. And we'll just go ahead and do two this time and drop that guy on there as well. And thank you for being heated up. We'll throw you back on the shelf for later use, my friend. All right, so those are warming up and they are heated up again. We'll drop you on there. And then we're gonna drop this one on there as well. There we go. All right, so let's go with the regular sharp blade and yep exit out of that and let's go ahead and hammer that into place and make ourselves a nice sharp blade and of course we'll have to sharpen it there we go regular sharp blade into the oil you go nice and cool so let's go over here and we'll do the mini game again uh, it's kind of a fun mini game i'll drop that right there and let's go ahead and sharpen this bad boy and i wonder if, if we apply more pressure no it doesn't seem like that changes anything and it's not like if we move it, it changes it any quicker either, as far as I can tell. Oops. Almost started to lose some integrity there. Good thing uh, I wasn't paying, or I was paying a little bit of attention. Go ahead and start sharpening this again. 
And there it goes. Look, I like the sparks flying off it. And oops. Ooh, we did lose a little integrity there. I was uh, getting a little too uh, a little too comfortable. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and keep sharpening it. So our katana will not be perfect, but that's okay. And this time I'm just going to take it off early, let it go all the way down. It's already at quality of 10, so we can exit. And we've got ourselves a nice, uh, cooled, sharpened, regular blade. So let's go ahead and pick this up. And we'll bring this into our workshop and make ourselves the katana. So that's a 13, and that will be 29. Um, I wonder... Nah, we'll just go ahead and attach these two. I was going to put a guard on there, but I don't think that matters too much. So let's go ahead and attach that. Oops. Let's try that again. Do, do, do. Uh, I wonder... Uh, it's a two-hand... Oh, it's a two-handed... Ah, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Well, we will, um, I guess just not make the katana. That's sad. Um... You know what? No, because we could probably reheat this. No, you know what? We're done. I'm not going to make the katana. Sorry, guys. That will be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, like the video if you have been enjoying the content or you like me embarrassing myself when we're like, oh, we're going to make a katana and then I screw it up right at the end. Um, comment on down below with your coolest weapon you have made. If you can, drop a photo in the comments so we can all see it. And if you don't mind subscribing to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion, um, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next My Little Blacksmith Shop video.